Why is someone going to watch your video? Well, part of the answer to that question is the first few words out of your mouth. Hi, I'm Mark Bullock. I'm the co-founder of videosocials.net and phoneblogger.net. And I have done other videos where I've talked about having your introduction be compelling. But just as the introduction I just gave you, it's the first few words. It's the first image that you see of me. It's the title that's across the top of the video that's going to determine whether or not you've got the next 10 or so seconds to keep going before somebody scrolls away. What am I talking about? I'm talking about if you're creating a video and it's going out to social media to those that don't know you, they're not part of your audience, right? So whether somebody forwarded it to them, emailed it to them, or it shows up as part of a news feed somewhere along the way. If they don't know you, you introducing yourself at the beginning is almost counterproductive because those first few words, hi, I'm Mark Bullock. Well, scroll on. They don't know me from Adam. What, what, what reason did I give them to watch? Right? So don't let your first few seconds go to waste because it's that first few seconds. And the general rule is you've got seven to 10 seconds. I've heard recently though, that it's, in some cases, that's turning more like three seconds, which is kind of scary. But the reality is, is just think in terms of what are those first few words, be, know exactly what you're going to say when the video starts, have a smile on your face or a surprise look, use your gestures if you're going to use gestures, and make sure that your title is compelling. Give them a reason to watch the next 10 or 15 seconds after that first 10 seconds so that you can get draw them in to your content. I hope you found this valuable. If you did, there's lots more at videosocials.net forward slash academy, and there'll be a link below. Take care. Again, Mark Bullock, co-founder of videosocials.net and phoneblocker.net.